Hey everybody, it's Rick at the Shack. And keeping up with things I've been doing here, I'm also doing reviews of the tools that I've been acquiring just because everything is getting old and it's time to update. So, of among the, the many things that I've been acquiring lately, one of them has been Freeman Brad Nail Gun. Actually, a pair of them. And because I've never had one, and I am actually doing some projects that require a smaller gun, a Brad gun, it would be perfect. And I've actually used them on a couple jobs. And actually, they're quite well. But I'm going to show you, I still have the box. I've actually had these for about a month now. Use them on a few things. So I'd rather have something, use it a little bit before I give a review. So I give a really positive review of exactly how it's done for me instead of just getting out of the box and say, hey, it looked good, okay, well, I'll let you know later. Well, this is later because I will use the, 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 the product, whatever it is, before I'm going to review it. But I still have the box. So I always keep the box for about 30 days uh, just to make sure everything works well and I've had no problems with it. Then I'll get rid of it if I'm definitely keeping them or if I have to return them for something different or if something goes wrong, I, I want to keep the original box. Okay, um, I, the last video I did uh, for the Freeman Brad Nails, I, I, I didn't like it, so I'm redoing it today, and then I'm going to upload it and edit and all that junk, since it's kind of a relaxing Saturday, and it's still a little bit of cloudy weather, a little bit of rain, actually started to sprinkle right now, so, but when I unpacked it, still have the box. This is the box that came in. It's got the two brad nails, brad, brad nailers. The larger one is a one inch and the smaller one uses a, it's a micro pinner and it goes, I think, if I remember right, I have to look again. It goes half inch to one inch. So it's got the, it came as, as a combination, a combo. You got it at the Home Depot, they had them on sale. So I still got plastic bags. I keep them in, and these are the Brad Nailers. Comes with the bag. It's got, like I said, the, oh no, I'm sorry, two inch Brad Nail gun. And this is the model right there. PBR50Q 18 gauge 2 inch brad nailer. This is the 2 inch brad nailer. Now, like I said, they got that solid construction, not plastic. And I got a, 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 a Hitachi, it's a nice gun, but this part is plastic and it's kind of cheap. And I like Hitachi, but these are, are nice. It's, you know, it's metal, even that's metal. And I know orange is kind of looking Home Depot-ish, but these are Freeman, so it's not the Home Depot brand, wrap it or rinse it or whatever it is. Um, but they're solid quality and good, good build. And you see, I got some brands in and out I've already used, but I want to show you something. See this right here? Put this down, if you're loading it, So it goes away. So as as these as you're using them, and they get down to the point where they're getting less and less, and you're going to get out, then you got a little marker here. It shows you, so you know you're out. See, you're done. So that's cool. It's got a little indicator there, lets you know when you get low on your brad, so you don't run out and you're just shooting nothing. <laughs> but this is how it came. Good looking, good quality. Um, now I'm do this again, and then if if and I've had these for about three months, and I've used them on jobs, and I got a video that shows uh, on a job that I did um, do uh, I I refinished the ladies' cabinets, and I had whoever put her flooring in didn't put any shoeing around the bottom, so. As a favor, I went ahead and, and did that for her and put the shoeing in in one spot by her dishwasher. 
a little bitty piece. Either glue it or something, but you know, I can shoot a little brad nail in it and it's going to be fine because you're never going to get in there. You never get to it. So actually show me using the the smaller one to shoot a little one inch brad in there just to hold it and it worked perfect. And I've used this one, which I'll try to get a quick video of. But what's cool about them, you hardly see that. When you finish work and, and you shoot that nail, this little brad in, you can barely see the area that it went into. And that's what I like about it. It hides very well. So I, I, I built some offering boxes for a church and when I went and installed them, I used this to put the trim around it and I'm gonna try to get back there and I'll just take a quick video and show you the trim you can barely a couple of spots i know where i shot the brad into i can see but walking by you're not even going to see it and that's what's cool about it it's it's it vanishes it's, it's hidden it's unnoticeable and that's what's good but this very good quality i love the construction on it your blow out here you can exhaust you can turn it so it's not in your face or whatever you need oh what i was going to do here that open see one-handed operation here you can just pop this up hard with one hand so if there ever is a jam right there it is you open it up get the jam out see nails go right there so you get it jam it out put it back down lock it in And that's it. So that's it. Slide it. Back in action. I've never had a jam. No malfunction. No misfire. Nothing on these. At all. And I, like I said, I've had them for a couple months now. So it's not like I just got them out of the box. I say, oh yeah, they're cool. I think they're good. Fine. No, I, I use it for a while before I do the review. I'll show the review when I first get them and unbox them. But... I wait a while before I use it, then I'll give a final review before I post anything. And um, I said, this is the, the micro, this is the mini pinner. And I'll open this up, because I, I, like I said, I already used it on the job. I got them right here, a little one inch. But this here, you can move from one inch down to half inch. So depending on what you have, you adjust it, and that's cool. So I'll put these back in. Close that. And voila. Good construction, solid. Like I said, I, I got a, another one, a Hitachi, and this part's plastic. It's a nice gun, but that's plastic. This is all metal material aluminum extruded cast whatever but it's good it also comes with the little hooks and that actually replace this screw that goes there so now you got a belt hook so if you're using it you just hook it on yourself and the same thing for this side this one goes here you got two of them right there they are the small one is a 23 gauge one inch micro pinner model PP123. And like I said it goes from one inch down to a half inch. I mean, and, and I'm gonna try to make uh, jewelry armoire for my daughter and so some little, uh, real delicate molding I'm gonna be putting on it. So this is probably gonna work perfect with a little bit of glue and, and tack that on there. Uh, but for most jobs, little things that I've done, little shoeing things, these, this is perfect absolutely perfect for a little stuff I've done uh, but that's that's it it's good carrying bag a little bit of oil came with it uh, actually let me get them out it comes with a little sample of this is the 23 gauge one inch and these are the 18 gauge inch and a half, and that's what I have in here. So 
So inch, this takes up to two inch brads on this. And this will go from half inch to one inch in here. And uh, I got, they're great. I love them. See, you got everything in here. You still got things there. The, uh, got a little uh, pouch here. I guess you want to put some extra brad nails in or something you got in there or whatever you want. But it's a good little carrying case. And like I said, I'm kind of weird, so I will put these back in the bags and put them in there just that way it keeps them from hitting each other or any scratches. So, yeah, I'm kind of weird when it comes to that. So, they're really good. I, I, I'm impressed. I didn't know if I'd like them because to me it's relatively new. Not like something that's been around for a while like Senkos or Hitachis or uh, I can't remember the other ones I got in there. Nail guns. Um, but but they're good quality. I, I have a feeling they're going to last quite a while because there's nothing wrong with these and they work effortlessly they're really good so these are definite must-haves they're good i think i paid like 83 dollars they're on sale for 79 78 dollars i got the combo kit both of them so i've never had a really small pinner here so now it's neat to have and that is it's sometimes i'll get the combos like that if even if i don't need the other one but I never knew I needed it, and now I'll be able to use it a few times so I can see in the future things I'm going to use it for. So that's a plus. Um, excellent. They're good. Uh, I suggest them. Like I said, I, I love the, the, the construction. Good quality. So uh, that's something to keep an eye out for Freeman. And uh, that's it. I mean, there's nothing else I can say about it. They're good. You got everything in it, everything I need. They work fine. They're, they're great. So... That's it. Thanks again. Like I said, I want to go back and I'll, I'm will i going to link this video before I finish it. Uh, show you exactly me using a small one. And it's good. It's, it's all, it's great. Uh, I enjoy that. I, I, I get tired of seeing some of the quality name brands turning cheap, getting the stinking flies, um, getting more plastic. You can still have a quality product and have good material. Yeah, some of the stuff, even, you know, uh, certain other things have, have gone to a carbon fiber. But I like the feel of metal. It's just, there's something about the quality, the feel of it feels good. And these aren't heavy, very, very light. So you can still do it with aluminum stuff and, and things that make technology and, and uh, advanced in materials. As far as the metals, they, they've gotten really good with the stuff. But, yeah. Recommended. They're good. Thanks for watching. If you got any comments or if you want any information, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll do whatever I can do to process that and, and, and return it back to you, whatever it is you need. Uh, Freemans. They're good. No problem. Either one. I've used them both now, and, and they're good. I like it. So thanks again for watching. Get out there, be creative, and take back your shack. So watch the video I have after this of me using that on a job. And uh, as always, man, take care, be blessed, have a wonderful time. Thanks again for watching. Okay, I'm on a job. I'm gonna do a quick review with IR and my Freeman that I bought from Home Depot. Brad nailers. I'm doing shoeing on cabinets, just doing little stuff, so I don't want a major hole in them. Just a little thing be fine. These aren't nothing major. And I got a very delicate little corner piece I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna use a small one inch Brad nailer. Perfect for it. So let's go in and I'm gonna show you. So this is a little one inch brand nailer and I got a little delicate corner piece right there. So I don't want a big hole, I don't want to split the wood, so this is going to be perfect for it.